And then with the medications that are often associated with these uh, comorbidities, how does that impact gut microbiome and what is maybe the causal relationship between some of those um, comorbidities and overweight and obesity? Yeah, so I would say, so one example that I can think of is, for instance, for people who want to take pills for their diabetes, there's some of them that actually cause weight gain and potentiate the problem. So like sulfonylureas, those are the glipizides, anything with iside at the end, like its last name, those cause weight gain and that's going to also cause issues with good diabetic control. Insulin also is our bread and butter injectable that we use for uh, management of blood sugars, and that definitely causes weight gain. Every time our bodies make insulin in response to an increase in your blood sugar or you inject insulin yourself, you also store body fat at the same time. So oftentimes we see people probably getting better blood sugar control on insulin, but they're gaining weight and they're going to need escalating doses of insulin to get things down because their weight gain is potentiating the problem. And then we know that um, a lot of the medications do disrupt your gut uh, microbiome. So a lot of people with overweight or obesity, especially the central like visceral adiposity, we call it, that central uh, weight gain puts pressure on the sphincter that keeps your esophagus like away from your stomach. And that causes when it gets weaker because of extra weight gain in the center, like in your abdominal area, that predisposes people to heartburn and acid reflux. And the medication for that that we often use are proton pump inhibitors like Nexium or H2 blockers. And that definitely wipes out your gut flora because everything in our body is supposed to work at a certain pH, like in a certain acidic level. And the kind of acronym for this medication, a PPI, a proton pump inhibitor, or H2 blocker, they really suppress your acid production. So that wipes out good bacteria. It lets the bad bacteria flourish. So that upsets the gut microbiome even more. And then people often become dependent on these medications. They develop nutritional deficiencies that cause further issues with comorbidities. So yeah, we see a lot of issues in the management of comorbidities coming from um, the, um, overweight and obesity and kind of stands to reason that just treating the underlying issue, the overweight or obesity would do, give us much better results kind of far down the stream than just targeting each and every comorbidity. You mentioned um, acid reflux, which is something I know a lot of people suffer from. Um, and um, I know that there are um, prescription medications for acid reflux, such as omeprazole and things like that. Um, but also people take things over the counter. And um, you. so let's just talk about the type of impact that over-the-counter medications can have on um, some of the factors that you just mentioned, such as suppressing um, or, or changing the pH balance of, of the gut and things like that. Are those strong enough to do that when taken on a regular basis? Yeah, because the ones that are available over-the-counter are just lower dosages of the same things that we prescribe. So often if people are not getting good control with the over-the-counter, so for instance, omeprazole that we prescribe is often 40 milligrams. Over-the-counter, it's 20. But very regularly, people will take two of them. So make the 40 milligram on their own. So thinking it's a lot safer, a lot healthier because you've gotten it over the counter, but still causing the same sort of effects downstream.